Okay, after the headlines, <laughs> sponsored so by Credible. Great rates, none of the bull. Packers, Eagles, and Sao Paulo. Second game of the year, day after Ravens Chiefs. NFC odds, San Fran at one, Detroit at two, Philly and Dallas tied up at three, and then the Packers at the five spot. Brew? What do you think is the odds on favorite to win the NFC? First of all, get Dallas out of there. Wow. They shouldn't be there. They've had a horrible offseason. They're giving their quarterback less to work with after his terrible performance in the playoff. And the vibes are bad. All right? So I am obviously going with the Philadelphia Eagles. As the right? better bet between, between the two. Them the question and on Bay. the screen, not the one wild. Yeah. Yes. Between them and Green Totally Bay. different questions. Green Bay or Philly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I have got <laughs> Philly. Okay. First of all, Philly, I think now is in an easier division. Uh-huh. All right? So, I mean, Green Bay, that division all of a sudden is tough. Obviously, Chicago should be better. Minnesota, I think, is going to be very competitive. All right, and then you got the Lions to deal with. So Philadelphia, I think, has a better chance of having a number one seed or or a higher seed, uh, and not having to play the wild card route. Uh, and then I just love what they did this offseason. You you've locked up your your two top receivers. You you got rid of your coordinators. You have two new coordinators. I think the vibes are very good right now. All right, you add Saquon Barkley. They they were gonna have a good running game anyway. Yeah. All right, now you add a back who is much better than what you had, and it was still good then. Saquon's gonna be fantastic. He will have never had less attention ever on him, and I'm including Penn State. That's true. Ever on him yeah. than he has in Philadelphia, and that's also going to open things up for the rest of the offense. So Philadelphia without – and they had a good draft defensively, which was their weakness. Theoretically, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Brew. Um, the draft, they took Mitchell, the corner from Toledo, mm -hmm. and Cooper DeGene, the guy from uh, Iowa. So they upgraded the secondary. Their pass yep. defense was so terrible last year. And to the point about the odds, it's baked into them. But, yeah, the NFC North might be the best division in football. The NFC East, certainly one of the weaker, could be the weakest division. So just right there, Philly's got a much better shot at a round one home playoff game uh, than Green Bay does. But then also, I always hear you talking about this existential funk. Right? Yeah. Supernatural. Supernatural, yeah. supernatural yeah. funk. Whatever the, whatever the funk is <laughs> uh, that happened to Philly. And well, how are we going to define what it is? And so that was the last, what, six weeks of last year. So mm -hmm. we went back and looked. Week one of 2022 through week 12 of 2023. Free funk is what this is? Free funk. Free funk. Okay. There exactly. Right. That's, that's awesome. A, that's a much bigger sample yep. than whatever happened down the stretch in Philly last year, which was a disaster. It was bad. And they it's over. One game. It's vanished. But there, there is no there is evidence no it's funk. over. No, but hold on a second, it's, Nick. It's you're, it's a, you're a sample size guy. Uh -huh. Which is the bigger sample? What? The, yes. They, they go to a Super Bowl. They go to 26 and 5, their top five in Close. points, yards, I mean, rushing. They've upgraded nice their defense. Good. Yes, or I get a, it. A little but fumble. I, down the I last worked year. with Wilds for uh, uh, 1,200 days. You felt like and it's, 10 years. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. And if, if the first 1,200 days, I, we never once got in a physical fight. But then each of the last two we did, then yeah, I, we couldn't just be like, well, the sample size says you guys aren't likely to get in a fight the next day Actually, until sure it happens. No, no you couldn't. You guys have a rough no You guys are. Right. I can't this believe you think that that is going is, to carry over no, what to I this. Think why is, don't, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, please. When the Lions were great, the Lions went into Kansas City and won, and we're like, yeah. that's right, and Dan Campbell's got everybody yeah. fired up. The narrative was inside the building in Detroit and for NFL fans across the globe, Detroit kept their momentum, beat the Packers, beat Aaron Rodgers, then went into Arrowhead and won. And next yes. thing you know, they're headed this way. And right. Jared Goff's got a contract right. yesterday. That was all one continual yes. linear line. The Eagles are doing the opposite. Why do you I, think all of a sudden it's like, whoop, whoop? Of course. Look, I wouldn't I, be because surprised. Because Jason Kelsey left? I no. wouldn't be surprised if something happened and was yeah, there we, a fight. Big know, we know what it was. Room. Big Dom. You they got couldn't two, overcome Big Dom. <laughs> you got two different I, offensive I, coordinators. I, look, I think I, if they thought it was Sirianni, and the I, players did back Sirianni. I was okay. like, if they don't back him, get rid Can of him, I, especially I, with Belichick I, out listen, there. They flirted. Yeah, but they determined, you know what? They have lost the Cowboys. 
Ross did a good room. thing by staying with Mike McCarthy, which I know you don't think is true. So, like, get rid of the Packers graphic I had, Hubs. Can we just talk about the Eagles over the, not just the existential funk over the course of all of Super last natural. season? It's whatever it was. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> the Eagles get last right. year, their defense <laughs> was absolutely brutal across the board for the whole year. And it wasn't just that they were bad at the end of the season. They were inexplicably the worst team in football. Ten man mode. So, look, since December 1st, like, which of these teams... So, the Chargers, we know what happened. Trevor Lawrence suffered multiple debilitating injuries. The Chargers fired their coach because of it. The Panthers are in constant free fall. We're just letting the Commanders. The we're letting the Trevor. Uh, right, right. I'm sorry. Guys, I wouldn't guys, guys, I was waiting for somebody to say something. I got to do the back. What, 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 I'm sorry. Did, did Jalen Hurts suffer multiple debilitating injuries? No. In fact, you asked him. He, he said he was played. fine. He Trevor played. played. Exactly. Pl trade, Trevor missed a game. But, done, the so, game. but you guys don't believe in the Jags. No. No, we don't. You don't believe in the Jets. You don't believe in the Commanders. You don't believe in any of those teams on that list. Why we're going to all of a sudden think Philly is all going to rebound when they were at their absolute nadir? I what think do you crazy. think of their roster? I think Real it's. Fun. I think it is a touch overrated. I think it's good. I think they have a good one. Medal time. Head to Connecticut. He's just Caitlin's first bucket. She ends the game with 20, uh, but the Fever lost. Not enough for the medal. Bronze medal. KCP, 16 points, four or five from three, had been pretty quiet, hit a couple massive shots, I felt, in this game. Whenever in the second half it seemed like Minnesota might all of yep. a sudden make it a game again, yeah. KCP on two of those possessions hit big shots, he gets a bronze. Silver medal, I when this game ended, I was certain this was going to be the gold medal performance of the night. Another 40 piece from Jalen Brunson, his fifth of the playoffs, 44, four and seven, navigating the double teams brilliantly and what ended up being a laugher of a win. However, it was not enough because Nikola Jokic played an almost perfect game of offensive basketball. 40 points, seven rebounds, 13 assists, zero turnovers for his second straight really masterpiece against the number one defense in basketball. There is the podium from last night. He has 16 night. ass backs here. Wow. I think so. it was 16. I don't know how many seals and blocks. They're, they're yelling in my ear. Okay, 16 sounds yeah, like it. Yeah. yeah they're yelling ass stock in is your high. ear. Well, for really, ass stocks? If yeah. you hit 16, yeah. man, you were balling. <laughs> Matt's in OKC. I don't think he had 16. Series tied at two, both Luke they and Kyrie looking to bounce back Actually, yeah. after they combined for 27. Brew, what are the chances that Dallas wins this game? Oh, I, I got Dallas winning this game. Um, yeah, I think they're the better team. I think they're going to win the series. It might take seven, but I got them winning this game tonight. There is a 70 to 80% chance Dallas wins this game. So I'm going to go with Dallas. Off. I'm not been, going 0% because that's not – what would you say? It's been cold. And what have I been cold about? <laughs> I was very smart and not no, picking. Yeah, you've been Tim neutral. Rose. I shouldn't say you've been. We're, yeah, we're been, not allowing. That's I've been, not even allowed. Been, uh, listen, I, my job is to be honest with the audience. I didn't know. If I know, I tell you. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I was really, that. I was unsure. The, and this game, I feel confident in the Mavs, but I'm not going to say 0% because that's insanity. Okay, see so wins. Only